Okay, so today we're going to be talking about doing a domain. You've already saved your website, right? And um, so the first thing you're going to do is when you come onto the platform, you're going to select your new website, right? You're going to save it. And then when you go back, it's going to be under My Sites once it's saved. So we're on My Sites right now. When you look down on... Um, you know what the options are. This is my main website right here, but all of them are the same. Whatever funnels you set up, whatever you know, websites, it's all the same. When you hit those three dots, it's going to be this is an option for disconnect domain, but it would be connect the domain. So um, you would hit connect the domain, and you're going to have it's going to pop up, and you'll be able to select your. Um, you know, type in the domain that you've redirected. You need to redirect first, and that would be from either Namecheap or GoDaddy, wherever you, um, you know, where your domain is hosted. So, and if you bought it from uh, Builderall, that's a different story. But I, I definitely would suggest, you know, Namecheap, GoDaddy. Um, you know, it's always nice to have, um, what do I say, like you could those two platforms you're able to redirect anywhere. So go with Namecheap or GoDaddy, get a domain. You need to forward it to Builderall. And then once it's um, forwarded, you'll be able to um, connect the domain. You will need to publish it, okay? So that's part of this too. You definitely need to publish the, um, the website. And you won't be able to do that unless you have a paid plan. So once you connect the domain, you're going to activate the SSL because that's going to go from HTTP to HTTPS, you know, with the security. So that's important to do as well. All right. So I hope those two things help you. Another thing that I could do is um, you're going to need to do, uh, verify the domain. So you would do that in um, Mail Inboss. Let me show you. Let me show you what mine looks like. So hopefully that will help you a little bit. We're going to go right over to Mail and Boss. We're going to go on the left hand, the menu, going to click down, going to go domains. And these are my verified domains. These are the ones that I, I didn't enable this yet, right? So I'm going to hit enable. So that's going to be processing. But the ones that I do have, they're active, right? So what do you do? You create new. You put the domain name in, and then you save the changes. And then that will allow you to, um, it'll come up on this screen here, and it'll say like, you know, verified, no, yes. And you just have to wait a little bit. It could take 24 to 48 hours. Certainly if there's any concerns, you reach out to support. Um, but if you redirected properly, that domain should be there once, you know, you, um, they'll be able to verify that and um, so I guess that's pretty much it it'll you know if it says no you can certainly click on it and try to verify it and then just wait a little bit so that should help okay anyway have a great day thanks so much